So we call on our committee secretary, um, Elizabeth Agas, to acknowledge the presence of the various resource persons who are here present. So Good afternoon, Senator. With that, we recognize um, Beth and um, um, proceed with our uh, business and the agenda for the day. I will have to disappear for a few minutes um, in as much as the Commission on Appointments will be meeting in plenary shortly. Thank you. Oh, thank you very much. And uh, before uh, we call on our committee secretary, we have here Senator Bong Revilla, one of the authors of the bill. Thank you. My opening statement. Yeah. No, no, no. <laughs> Okay, um, we're grateful to uh, the um, senator who's one of the authors of our bills, and uh, um, he has indicated that he has a an, an introductory statement which we will insert into the record shortly. Thank you. We go back to our legislative uh, committee secretary, Beth Agas, please. Good afternoon, Senator Marcos. Good afternoon, Senator Revilla. Uh, for our public hearing today, the Department of Social Welfare and Development is represented by ASEC Irene Dumlao, CESO for Legislative Affairs Technical Staff. Uh, she is also with her support staff, Ms. Jean Ija Alodia Santiago and Mr. Wilson G. Dabu. The Department of Finance sent uh, observers only, uh, Ms. Astrud Jacinto, Ms. Rochelle Bato, and Ms. Sara Conch. I'm sorry, uh, can you raise your hands so that I know where you are? Okay, uh, there you are. Okay, way in the back. That's fine. In any case, we have in uh, receipt the position paper of the DOF. Salamat. The Department of Budget and Management is represented by Attorney Tricia Embaraan and Attorney Carlos M. Borja, Jr. The Department of Interior and Local Government is represented by Attorney Gino Lavarias. However, he is in the other public hearing, but he ano, signed his name as present. NEDA is represented by Director Gurley Grace Casimi Casimiro Igbiten. The National Anti-Poverty Commission is represented by Sectoral Representative for Senior Citizens Sectoral Council, Ms. Salvacion S. Basiano. Uh, she is also with Ms. Maureen Mata from the Council Member, uh, Persons with the Disability Sectoral Council, and Ms. Nazara Christian Laurel, the Policy Technical Officer. The NCDA, the National Council for Disability Affairs, is represented by Attorney Rialette Grisel Ramos, their Division Chief Management. And Attorney, he, she is with Attorney Walter Jason Alaba, the Regional Program Director, as well as Ms. Cristel Manzano, Executive Assistant. NCDA, the National Council for National Council for Disability Affairs. Yes, is that the one under the Office of the President? Um, it used to be under the Office of the President. I know now it's attached. It is attached. It's attached. How was it created? Uh, I was looking for its mandate. I'm a little bit lost. Okay. Uh, um, it was originally created under an executive order. That's right. Uh, under the time of former President um, Marco Sr. And then um, it used to be attached to the office of the president, but then later on it was transferred and um, attached to the DSWD. Okay, so uh, I was misinformed. I was told that it was still under OP. It's in fact attached. So attached you by attached you mean administratively or uh, uh, thoroughly? Uh, programs and policy coordination, Your Honor. 
Uh, but budget falls under whom? Oh, we have our separate budget. Do you have another line item that's not BSWD? Yes, Your Honor. Where does it fall under? I, we, submit our, we submit our budget to DSWD. So your budget constitutes part of the DSWD budget? So talagang DSWD na kayo? Uh, wala yes. OP? Wala na po. Okay, so it's not attached. It's no longer attached. That means it's directly under, under the DSWD as one of its agencies. Hindi na attached yan. Talagang under na. Uh, under 709, ma'am. They did not change. It's what is attached. 709? Um, Executive Order 709, the charter of the present charter of NCDA. Uh, who issued that? that? Is that is that the original executive order? Um, No, Your Honor. 2011. So I'm lost. 709-208. Okay. No, but it says Office of the President. That's not the relevant one. It's the 2011. That's relevant, right? Yes. yes that, Malik, what, you're, what you're pointing out is wrong. So, okay. 2011 was moved to DSWD. Yes, Okay. Governor. So that's relevant. Um, I was misinformed. Thank you. Yes. So the word is no longer attached. Um, you are actually an organic part of the department now. Thank you. Proceed. From the National Commission for Senior Citizens, they are represented by Attorney Franklin Quijano, their chairperson and chief executive of the commission. He is also with Mr. Cliff Cabigon, their media consultant. From DOLE, uh, they are represented by Ms. Jean Orsolino and Ms. Rosalinda Pineda, their division chief, Bureau Local Management. From the Regional Association of Women with Disabilities, their president, Ms. Jennifer V. Garcia, is here, as well as Ms. A uh, Annabel Roque, their department head, provincial, so provincial Social Welfare Development Officer of Pangasinan. The Panbansang Kapisanan ng Mga May Kapansanan ng Pilipinas, an NGO, is represented by their president, Ms. Fe Corpus. Tahanang Walang Hagdan is represented by their Executive Vice President and Chief Operating Officer, Ms. An An Angelita Evangelista. The Philippine Institute for the Deaf is represented by Executive Director Julie Esguera. Life Haven Center for Independent Living is represented by their board member, Ms. Sheila May Agaraw. Yes, I just like uh, I just like to say that uh, I'm in receipt of uh, your very lengthy position papers, and uh, we've gone through them. So, uh, if it's all right, we'll insert them as uh, part of the records, and we'll take them into consideration in the formulation of the committee report. But. Uh, if you had any comments or additional insights into the issues being undertaken, we would appreciate if you no longer read in its entirety your position papers, but rather uh, merely added um, any highlights or salient points that you would have um, in addition to uh, the discussion. Kasi mahaba na yung position paper at marami na kayong isinaad doon eh. Uh, very, very helpful uh, comment. So let's not go through the whole thing again uh, during the discussion para makatapos tayo ng mabilis. Thank you. Proceed. She is, uh, uh, she is with Mr. Magdaril Yeno, their personal assistant of Sheila May Agaraw. From the League of Pidaos of the Philippines, they are represented all the way from Sambuanga del Sur, Miriam Acosta Liana. Llanos, RSW, MPA, MG, MAGD. The League of Provinces is represented by Ms. Angelica J. Sanchez, the Director for Policy Development. That's all, Senator. Angelica Sanchez. Is there anyone here? Madam Chair, it's supposedly Attorney Gino Lavarias from DILG. Um, okay. Um, thank you very much. So the agenda, as you're well aware, is, um, is quite copious. We have uh, quite a few... Uh, 
uh, things to to deal with. Um, yung una, no, yung uh, social pension or disability support fund. That's uh, Senate Bill 31, 501, uh, 592. Uh, some provisions uh, amending 7277, and that's Senate Bill 311. And... Uh, the other set of bills are three bills dealing with the IDs. So, unahin na muna natin yung social pension. And uh, I'd uh, just like to quickly go through this. Um, being that the uh, area of uh, disability benefits, to my mind, has a uh, long history of... Uh, Many, many bills already. Kung tutuusin, napakadami ng batas. Pero kung bibilangin at aalamin ang talagang binibigay na tulong, eh napakakaunti. So, kung uh, lilistahin natin, ang ating mga batas na sumasapaw dito sa paksa ng ating uh, mga PWD, andito na yung RA-7277, Magna Carta for Disabled. RA-10524, Expanding the Positions Reserved. Ayan na yung dole yan, di ba? Alam natin yan, yung 1% na dapat PWD. At uh, ito ay eh, para sa gobyerno, requirement yan. Pero sa private, recommendatory lamang. Tapos may IRA 11650. Ito naman yung public schools. Di ba na may special needs dapat. Uh, including the Learning Resource Center. And a separate budget for special ed. No? So alam natin yan. Isa pa yung 11228. Ito naman yung mandatory field health coverage. Uh, tapos, meron rin tayo uh, yung sa local government code. Uh, if you will recall, we have section 17, and this has become a contentious issue where elderly and disabled persons already were devolved by the national government as responsibilities of the LGUs concerned. That's for both senior citizens and PWD. So we will go back to that later because the position of the DBM is uh, inconsistent. Uh, we also have Executive Order 138 of 2021, devolving once again social welfare services for the elderly. Uh, we also have under the Bureau of Local Employment and the pub and the and the peso offices, di ba? Meron rin tayong pang uh, PWD field job net job start government internship. So that's what we have right now. I'm just going over this because patong-patong na, na magulo na, pero kung tatanungin mo anong natatanggap, halos wala pa rin. Kaya nga, so it's a, it's a long um, and extensive slew of laws and yet they constitute uh, very, very small contributions to the uh, uh, conditions of our PWD. Mentoring Dole Integrated Livelihood and Emergency Employment Program. So, uh, Department Order to 173-2017 for vulnerable and marginalized workers, including PWDs, to be provided grant access to uh, their livelihood efforts. And also, we have uh, under the SWD comprehensive program for children PWDs. So that's from zero to 59 years old. And coverage and iba um, ibang servicio to community based service, assistance for physical restoration, tuloy aral, mainstreaming for the children, and then center based services. And finally, the Employees Compensation Commission benefits under P for the PWD under PD626, amended by EO179, sickness, disability, etc., assistance of 10,000 pesos, therapy, and skills and entrepreneurial uh, services under the extended Katulong at Kabay. So, Napakarami po ng ating mga batas o executive order at iba't iba pang issuances. Pero kung um, aayusin natin sa ilalim ng isang uh, disability support fund, 
e eh, talagang kinakailangan, himayin natin ng maigi. Kasi may incentivization, tapos may exemption, tapos may sinasabi pang uh, stipend or support fund. So medyo magulo siya at uh, hindi masyadong naintindihan. Yung uh, isa pang bagay na pinag-aabalahan ko, e eh, bakit sinasabi ng DOF, NEDA, DBM at iba pang mga ahensya na na-devolve na ang responsibilidad para sa ating PWD from the national government to local government. E kung tutuusin, yung mahiwagang Section 17 ng LGC, ng Local Government Code, e na-devolve na rin yung senior citizens. Ang tanong, bakit nagbibigay pa ng budget ang national government sa senior citizens kung na-devolve na, samantalang pinagkakait sa PWD ang pagbibigay ng national uh, assistance mula sa national budget at sinasabi, bahala na yung LGU. Eh, kung tutuusin, ang um, kanilang uh, basehan, eh, iisang provision sa LGU na binabanggit kasabay yung seniors at saka yung PWD. Bakit yung isa pwedeng pondohan, yung isa hindi? Doon ako nagtataka. Uh, so, andito naman yung DBM, ano? Diba, sino ba yung DBM, DOF? DOF kayo, kalimutan ko. Sorry? Yes, your DOF. Yes, um, the uh, question with the departments, um, with the economic departments is, Why are we including the seniors? We're not the money, and we are refusing to include the PWD. I don't get it. Because, uh, is there anyone from DBM? Wala. Yes, DBM. Um, Attorney Trisha, the uh, position paper of uh, Secretary Amina is very, very clear that uh, this has already been devolved. Ang tanong ko, napaka-inconsistent naman. Dinevolve ninyo yung PWD, pero papayagan yung seniors. What's the distinction? It's the same provision um, under the LGC. Good afternoon po, Madam Chair. Apo. So, Bis po dun sa... Yes. Sorry, sorry. Uh, hold in abeyance. I'll uh, just be present in the city.
it's in the Kapag nag-trend.
just had to uh, uh, report attendance at the Commission on Appointments. Let's go back to Attorney Trisha uh, Baraan of the DBM. Thank you. Yes, good afternoon, po, Madam Chair. Uh, we respectfully inform po that we have stated in our position paper that we are just currently proposing po to devolve yung auxiliary services for PWDs such as assistive devices. But currently po, we are still in the process of evaluating the devolution transition plans of the agency. So hindi pa naman po siya final. And at the same time, Actually, we have funded. We have funding po from the JA for 2023 for under the DSWD po for assistance to persons with disability and older per persons po. Yes, uh, we're aware of that. It's just that uh, the logic defied us because uh, there was a claim that uh, PWDs could not be uh, funded given that uh, their care. Um, had been devolved. However, the provision cited is the self same provision as uh, that cited for seniors who are clearly um, much better funded um, under the GAA. Uh, yun lang. Okay, thank you. Um, in addition, um, it was recommended in um, in many, if uh, you don't mind, I'll just go straight to the question since you've already submitted very copious uh, position papers. Uh, it was recommended that in lieu of developing a whole new PWD uh, database system, the DOH Philippine Registry uh, would instead be utilized. Uh, I think uh, this is similar to what the NCSC does with the senior citizens. Kaya lang sa ating um, uh, nakita, sobrang liit nung listahan sa DOH. Diba sa senior citizens, nasa 600,000 lang, uh, more or less. Samantalang ang bilang natin, eh, nasa 10% ng total population or close to that. Kaya, pag uh, ginamit na naman natin ang DOH, yun lang ang uh, bumabagsak sa PhilHealth or other systems ng DOH. Eh, matatanggal na naman at mababaliwala yung karamihan ng PWD. Pareho nung sa seniors. Uh, any comments, please? Yung registry ang magagamit natin ito, yan ang problema eh. Shall we use the DOH database? Kasi yun ang ginagamit sa seniors. And we already know how grossly inadequate it is. So I'm uh, wondering, anong database ang gagamitin? Any comments? DOH, please. Anybody would like to comment? Uh, Madam Chair, um, actually, uh, the deaf community is around 8 million already. So as you can see, it's it's really that statistics uh, we don't know where to get. So yeah, I that's would... right. I mean, everybody's banding about yeah. all kinds of numbers: eight million, ten yeah. million. Pero wala naman listahan. Pag humingi ka ng pangalan, ang tanging may listahan lamang ay yung DOH. Eh, ang problema yung DOH kulang kulang naman, kasi yung coverage lang ng mismong uh, may feel help o iba pang dokumento. Makakadali ka rin, pero pa kulang-kulang din sa GSI SSSS kasi karamihan naman din nagtatrabaho. So, anong masasuggest po ninyo? Let's uh, start. Uh, Maureen Mata, please. Thank you, Madam Chair. Um, okay. Uh, we have the PIDAO or the Persons with Disabilities Affairs Office po or the FOCAL or the MSWDO in every municipality or city we're in, they issue the National Persons with Disabilities ID card po. So, they have the numbers there. And then, if they will be able I have another issue with that because yes. uh having been a local government official for a long long time the uh, differences in disability the by total disab total and permanent and then all the different stages disabled lung for example sa deaf pero physically completely able uh otherwise diba? so papano yung ganun Hindi ko nga maintindihan eh, medyo mas komplikado. At least seniors, you have an absolute number. And even there, we are inadequately recorded. So, paano kaya, Ms. Mata? Opo. Uh, dahil, um, 
maaasahan yung, yung uh, ID na binibigay ng ating uh, mga LGU. Alam ko eh, LGU ako, napakatagal na panahon eh. Yes po ma'am. So kung dahil po sa LGU po talaga kasi nag i ng ID, we just have to be strict on the disability. Uh, the version 3, I guess, that they had already around 10 uh, disabilities that they have there. So, uh, on the so specify yung disability. It's so, already, yes po ma'am. Okay. So with the ID that... So you're saying that we will enjoin the LGUs to be more specific about their IDs. Hindi lang sasabihin PWD. Yes, ma'am. Because... Eh, kasi alam natin, uh, naging biruan na at bayaran yung PWD card. Alam naman natin yan, may racket dyan eh. Apparently, it's true, ma'am. Lahat na lang ng tao sa mundo, PWD eh. <laughs> because Tapos yung totoong PWD, hindi naman na napapangalagaan. Hindi na tama eh. So, yun nga po, ma'am. Because uh, with the issuance of the National PWD ID card, which should be based on the 10 classifications of disability that we that the guidelines had been uh, with NCDA and the department. Saan yung 10? With the... Disability, with the NCDA and Department of Health po. So they issued a version 3. Of... Sigurado kayo 10 lang ha? Kasi tuwing tumitingin ako, naiba eh. Based... Are you sure 10? 10 po yung... 10 Absolute po yung... na yan? <laughs> They're based on the guidelines po na nailabas po ma'am. Okay, so 10. We just agree on the 10. Ganon? For the moment po ma'am. Kasi uh, disability is an evolving concept ma'am. So possibility po is mag, uh, magkaroon pa po ng then, situation. And then, yung, uh, if you're going to count on the LGUs, maasahan ba na sasabihan natin yung LGU? Paano ba? Yes, ma'am. Uh, because since they have issued the IDs, ma'am, they have the baseline. Date. No, but we're already saying that you and I know perfectly well that some of those were fake, some of those were issued with no basis at all, and some were bought outright through bribery and corruption. Based so, on, alam na natin yon, given na yon, yes, anong gagawin natin ngayon? So, bali po ito, ma'am, ay uh, kasi may bago na pong numbering po, no po, nung mga IDs na ito, they were strict on it by resubmitting all the requirements. Again, like for me, I'm an amputee, to, so I have to submit all my requirements again. You mean to say in update regularly, yan? Every three years po ito, ma'am. Every pero, three years. Pero ngayon po, it's every five years na po, ma'am. Ala, patagal ng patagal. So, three to five years in update. So you're saying we don't use the DOH kasi it's kulang. Ang gagamitin natin LGU ID na lang. Uh, the, what what what's your position? Um, I'm a little bit lost yes. because some of the papers that were submitted ang sabi DOH stick to yes. DOH para stricto. Sabi mo naman yung LGU na lang. Okay naman yung ID. The what the LGU has been doing ma'am came from the DOH and the NCD. Hindi rin ah, hindi rin. Marami kami linalagay na walang uh, listahan sa DOH. Opo. So, um, Indian Indian uh, na they, they're not uh, they're, they're not identical. Yes, ma'am. Ang naging problem po kasi ma'am yung pagre-relay ng data from LGU going to uh, DOH, ma'am. So, doon po nagkaroon ng gap on how on sending those um information. No, po. precisely. So, my point is there are two suggestions pending. One is the DOH and the other one is the LGU. Uh, what are you saying? Yeah, through the through the LGU, ma'am, because the template has been given or Ay, from nga, the DOH. But we've already made the we've already admitted that the LGU uh, listings are faulty for various reasons. So therefore, what do we do? And then the DOH, naman, is grossly inadequate. So what do we do? Chantayo. Centralized na lang po, ma'am. Centralized. Centralized Central, sa... Central database, ma'am, ang... With DOH pa rin po ito, ma'am. DOH pa rin. Dagdagan na lang, ganon. Pero, ilang ba... Uh, yeah, I see... Some... Pero based on... Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, let's let the others talk. Ah, sige, sige. Yes. Ms. Fe Corpus. Apo. There are two kinds, the apparent and non-apparent. The okay... For the non-apparent, we will need the medical certificate from the DOH. Uh -uh. So, pag apparent po, eh, immediately the LGU can issue the ID po. Yun lang po dalawa ang dapat tingnan. Kapag non-apparent po, ibig sabihin hindi halata, kailangan po ang DOH and medical certificate po. Si, yeah, okay. Uh, pero malabo rin yan. Pero okay lang, Miss Garcia. 
Uh, Madam Chair, the system that we are using in the LGU is the DOH registry. So, uh, with that, Madam Chair, uh, I cannot uh, speak in behalf of the LGUs, other LGUs, but there are some uh, scenarios like that. But as far as the system is concerned that we are using, we are only using one system, and that is the DOH registry. And I that's think it's just same, has, uh, 10 categories. Yes, ma'am. Categories. Madam Chair, actually, the version 4 of the DOH uh, registry form has the 10 categories of disability. And it was just recently um, updated and forwarded to the LGU. So at this time, we are using that uh, kind of form, and uh, we are hopeful that we can gather all the persons with disabilities and hand in hand with the with the other organizations of persons with disabilities. Yep. We are also take um, having partnership with them uh, for us to encourage all the persons with disabilities. But you're to... not a health worker, right? You are. Uh... I'm a registered social worker. You're a social worker. Yes, ma'am. Pero, pero you are applying the DOH. Uh, yes, Madam Chair, as mandated by the DOH for us, the LGUs, in gathering the persons with disabilities. Right. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank okay. you. Uh, okay. Ms. Pineda, please. Thank you, po, Madam Chair. When it comes to the registry, po, I guess we could use the DOH, but since you have mentioned earlier that there are some fake IDs coming from the LGU, siguro po, uh, on renewal, they have to go to the DOH na po. Para po, DOH to verify if the, Parang even if the ID is not fake Mas po. Mas pa yung renewal kesa sa acquisition? If that's the only way we could, ano po, yung, yung, yung data mo, and statistics. Hindi pangyayari yan. <laughs> So that yun lang po yun nakikita ko na. No, you have to get it right at the outset, <laughs> and then the renewal is yes. all but automatic. Impossible yung sinasabi mo na check na naman yung renewal. For for it's for the validation purposes lang po ng DOH, just to check on the database. If let's say for example, uh, if a certain uh, local government unit was able to submit the names and then for the renewal siguro po they could get a certification from the DOH that he or she Parang is really mahirap yung sinasabi mo. <laughs> uh, anyway uh, I you. think attorney Ramos please um thank you madam chair so um allow me to just make some clarifications earlier the version of the DOH um registry was mentioned actually we are already uh -oh. at version 4 okay now when it comes to the process while the LGUs are utilizing the DOH system the data does not come from DOH but emanates from the LGU because the application springs from the LGU. I'm sorry, come again. I didn't understand. Okay, so there is a system. The okay, the system is derived from the DOH yes. but is applied by the LGU. Yes, no, yes, that's yes. precisely why I'm asking because um, clearly those applying it are the social welfare officers. Mm -hmm. They are not health workers. Um, yes, Your Honor. So uh, they are using DOH parameters um, as social welfare workers. Obviously, they will do it to the best of the of their ability, but they are still not trained health uh, practitioners. That's my point. Uh, yes, Madam Chair. However, um, we try we saw that point and we tried to simplify the procedure so that it will be easy, even though it's not a health worker. For one, like what was mentioned a while ago by Ms. Fe Corpus, if your disability is apparent, yes. then you don't need to present a medical certificate anymore to the PIDAW. It is only when your disability is non-apparent that the PIDAW requires you to submit a certificate of disability. Now, just I to... see, I see. So that's what Ms. Corpus was saying. Yes. Hindi but... na kailangan ng medical certificate kung apparent. Kapag yes. non-apparent lang, tsaka na lang hihingi. Yes, Your Honor. And, and also, the medical certificate will come from any doctor or any, just the DOH? Uh, not the DOH, Madam Chair. Sorry? Not the DOH, but um, a doctor specializing on that condition. Or in the oh, absence of a wait, private doctor. Specializing in that condition? Um, uh, Anong on, magahanap dun sa probinsya? Um, 
in the absence of a specialist, Madam Chair, um, in any the doctor? guidelines, any doctor in the city government or city or municipality Wait. government. Oh, teka, teka. You're talking a whole. You're talking about uh, all sorts of different people here. Are we talking about the DOH? Not the DOH. Not the DOH. But kanina sabi mo any medical practitioner if the in the absence of a specialist. Um, any. Asahan mo walang specialist sa uh, rural area. Yes. So in the rural area, in the administrative order issued by NCDA in consultation also with the sector so if there is no specialist See then you. a health officer from the lgu will suffice so a certification from the health officer of the lgu so health officer you mean uh doctor the mho yes yes so mho or sa barangay um rhu mho sino um it does not, not specify be specific because magiging magulo na naman yan rhu your honor rhu yes mho um, well, the, you have to say. Uh -uh. Oh, ma'am, the administrative order does not specifically state as long as it's um, an authorized um, local government health officer. The, the, but, uh, the, in other words, it's a government doctor. Yes. It cannot be a private doctor. It can be. Oh, if, it can. Okay, oh, nga eh. Uh, Alam mo, dapat hindi tayo malabo eh. Okay, so I will um I'll repeat it, ma'am. So preferably, it is a doctor specializing on the condition. Which condition? It depends on the disability. So okay, for example, yeah, but given the situation mm, given and the reality of the rural communities, ano mangyare? Then a uh, government health doctor, <laughs> government health officer. Well, presumably all doctors have to do with health, but. Uh, Government lang. Yes, as as the rules stand now. But of course, that can be... Hindi, I don't know. I'm asking you nga, ano ba mabuti? As the rules stand now, yes, government, madam. So, kailangan government doctor. RHU, MHO, yung sa hospital, miski sino, basta gobyerno? If general, yes, Your Honor. Anong if general? Um, Because uh, we're going back na under the rules, it should be um issued by a specialist. So if um if you're deaf, wala na nga eh. As the, the government, pag wala, wala. Pag wala po, government po. Government doctor. Pag government wala. doctor. Okay. okay, specialist or if in the absence will be a government doctor. Okay. Yes, madam. Tama ba yun? Are we happy with that? Um, so, ma'am, given that, um, I would I would think that. Because kasi yung non apparent, mama problema rin tayo dyan sa doctor. Pag non apparent, hindi na po kailangan. Will not be capable, perhaps, of certifying non apparent uh, disabilities. No need na po for them to certify, Your Honor. Sorry. No need na po for them to certify. So, pag nakita po nung no, nung pitaw. Non apparent. Non, ah, non apparent. Sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> Di ba yung yeah, apparent? Yeah, yeah. No wala na medical yes. certificate. Mm. Baya, ano natin just ko. Yes. Pero yung non apparent, we're Kailangan. talking about the non apparent. Yan ang problema. Kap mm -hmm. In the absence of a specialist, do you Over. think the general practitioner or whoever happens to be there in the periculture center, the RHU, the MHO, or government hospital will be able to certify a non-apparent disability? Um, if ability, yes, they will be. I th but I think the reasoning behind limiting it to government doctors is to prevent nga po yung nabanggit nyo kanina na minsan um, may mga doctors lang na nag issue ng certificate of disability kahit wala naman talaga. I think yun lang naman po yung rational behind yung it. fear natin dito, eh, mas lalo pang lalaganap yan. Mm -hmm. Kasi nga, they're not, they're certifying something that they have no competency in. So, okay lang, di ba? But yes, yun lang naman po yung rules as they stand. But of course, they can okay, uh, change. So we're just trying to get yeah. uh, to a better place, right? Sige. Okay. Um, right. So, the government doctor, for now, is the one we're stuck with, right? Um, let's think of ways to make it better so that uh, non-apparent uh, disabled persons are better treated, no? Sige. And then... Um, Okay, the other issue here is the 
Yes. Um, is there, would anyone like to share at this point? Yeah, the other issue here, of course, is the uh, budget, right? Um, of course, the economic managers are rightly uh, concerned by the lack of fiscal space, and uh, the 2,000 pesos comes to a 17 odd billion, uh, which isn't burning a hole in our pockets right now. So, napakalaki nun. Furthermore, um, DBM um, has rightly pointed out that there are already existing under previous laws exemptions and other incentives. But, uh, syempre, hindi naman natin nararamdaman yun on the ground. Ano? Wala naman ramdam yun. Yeah. Uh, eh, yun ang binabanggit. Na marami na raw binigay na 1% of positions, public school, Magna Carta, discounts, VAT, etc. are already being provided. Pero, you and I know, hindi uh, naman totoo yun. Di, wala naman ako nararamdaman ganun. <laughs> but, uh, like, uh, for example, I was even going to recommend that dapat uh, may sanctions na. May penalties na sa mga LGU and public buildings that do not comply with accessibility requirements. Kasi it's more honored in the breach, di ba? Mas maraming uh, violation kesa sa sumusunod, di? Sa totoo lang. So, um, yeah, it's an exercise in Ilocos Norte, for example, to... Um, to sit in a wheelchair and try to go from the airport to the capital and go home. And uh, we all know it's virtually impossible um, to do so without assistance from many, many people, in fact. So that's been the uh, problem. So let's see. There is an estimate for a budget. Di ba parang may 2,000 pesos na sinasaad ng ibang bills? What are your thoughts? Are these, uh, the amount is very large in terms of the actual uh, financing. At the same time, it's also questionable whether it will be of any real help, if it will actually impact on anyone. Any comments, please? There are suggestions that therapy and other free services would be more helpful rather than an outright stipend and uh, that phase one could actually be uh, a series of phases in the sabay sabay so sheila agarao yes yeah good afternoon madam chair so uh, regarding po doon sa nabanggit niyo na there are already existing laws and um programs and services for persons with disabilities yes it is very true but it's not enough for example, po, for the discount that we have, it can only be availed po with, of people who uh, have the services in their communities. Kung mes may restaurant sa uh, lugar mo, kung merong drugstore sa lugar mo, ma-avail mo siya. So, yes, and, kung, meron kang pam, kung meron kang pambili, ma, 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 ano mo siya, no? So, um, yes, we already assumed that. Oh, Ang tinatanong ko ngayon, yung 2,000 pesos na rin yes, recommend oh, Kasi oh, talagang umaaray tayong lahat mm -hmm. sa total nun. Laki-laki eh. Oh, and at the same time, may nagsasabi na kahit ibigay mo, hindi naman ganun kalaking tulong yon Opo. Um, yun po, ano, based po sa aming... So, anong dapat natin gawin para makatulong ng, uh, makatotohan ng tulong, alam mo yun, yes, na po. nadadama talaga, imbes na, yun nga, maraming exemptions, incentives, discount, mm -hmm. pero sa totoo lang, hindi naman na-avail yun eh. Opo. Yes po, Madam Chair. The 2,000 pesos po is based po dun sa study namin ano, kung magkano po yung nagagastos ng isang household para po sa si isang pamilyang may kapansanan in terms of their uh, expenses po sa transportation and medical services. Ilan lang po yung sa expenses nila. Um, Yes po, totoo, hindi po siya sapat at hindi lang po ito yung solusyon because as you have said, we have to make our environment accessible and also we have to make support services in the community. So ito pong 2,000 pesos na to would be an a support po doon sa mga bagay pa na ipoprovide ng ating pamahalaan sa ating po mga persons with disabilities. And it can also be used po to address other disability-related costs such as having a... Um, uh, support po no, sa mga personal assistants who are always, most of the time, for our family members no, na hindi na po, na, for example, makapagtrabaho sapagkat kailangan po nilang tulungan yung mga uh, kap, uh, kapamilya po nilang may kapansanan. So, yun po ang pinaka-essence po kaya uh, bakit po siya 2,000 pesos. Ayun po. Um, That's right. Um, ang realidad, alam natin na talagang... Uh, 
Walang pera ng ganyan eh. Okay, Miss Llanos, please. Okay po. Um, Baka may suggestion kayo na iiba or uh, maayos natin to Kasi gusto natin tumulong, walang uh, ganun kalaking pera. May suggestion nga na i-face na lang. Tatlong taon bago sabay-sabay. Kasi sobrang laki eh. Okay. Ang okay. um, ano naman, uh, Lynn of Pilao of the Philippines, uh, alam natin na yung tutawakan, kung matihan natin ang aktual. Oo, mas malaki talaga. Alam mo, malaki talaga ang kailangan ng ikaw person yung ikaw. Oo, pero kailangan din na ikimbangin, alam din ng sektor na kung ikaw ang pera na ang gobyerno, o kailangan din indihan nila. So, win-win solution ang nakita namin sa 2000, ma'am. I see. At ako, yung tungkol naman sa data, ma'am, ang ikaw talagang malayo yung data na ERP na kundi ng DOE, kaka-aktual na hawak ng mga pinaw na mga name of warm body na sa amin at ayaw mga pangalan na warm body at sa amin ang napigilay na nandiyan sa frontline officer ang mga person with disability affairs officer of the Philippines pero now magkaiba ang may problema may ikritan ikan dita ng PRP sa community and sa pinaw dahil hindi ko lahat ng LEU Meron pinaw. Hindi po lahat ng implement na Republic Act 1007-02. Malaking tunong ito na kausapin natin ngayon para mauli niya talaga kung lahat ng local government unit regardless in ang plot at inanyan po ang mga person with disability regardless kung ilang taon yan. We have to give them the services that we need. Anong yan na aplikin ko po si Madam Chair? Ang sabi niya na ay namin-dami na kong bakal sa Pilipinas. Pero, ano yun namin yung mga kakamahan namin? Ano yan hindi po ramdam na kababa? Mas naramdaman ko po na yun sa puto mo, Madam Elector. Ang gusto mo ka na naman yan sa Elector. Maraming salamat po. Thank you, thank you. Pero naghanap tayo ng solusyon kung paano ayusin to at uh, gawan ng paraan kasi napakahirap. Sino pang hindi nagsalita? Ah, lahat magsalita na, dadaldal natin, no? <laughs> uh, teka muna. Saan ba tayo mag-umpisa? Kay Miss Evangelista po. Pagandang hapon po, Madam Chair. Uh, hapon. Daming alis. Yun pong sa pen social pension fund, ang sa tahan na walang hagdanan po kasi ako, may mga trabaho naman po kami doon pero ang talaga pong hinihiling din namin sinusuportahan po namin itong bill na ito para po makadagdag sa panggastos po talaga kasi being a disabled ang dami po talagang extra expenses like medicine, assistive devices pwera po doon sa mga carers na kailangan din namin pong bayaran Dave, pero is, yun, yun po nga, eh, kaya nga um, actually ang problema natin ang dami-daming batas. Eh, ayokong mauwi ito sa batas na hindi pinupondahan, hindi ina-actionan, hindi na i-implement. Dalandala na rin ang ating mga si na senior council. Alam na ninyo yan, tagal-tagal na ng mga batas, hindi naman nagagampanan, di ba? Eh, ayokong mauwing ganun. Gusto ko na may pera na doon. Ayokong irresponsibil irresponsibilidad ang mangyari na pasa ka ng pasa ala tsamba. Kasi yeah. ilang beses na nabigo yung uh, ating mga kababayan oh. na may kapansana. Yes, Sa katutak yung batas, eh wala naman nararamdaman, wala naman tulong na makatotohanan. Malaki so, po yung... ayoko magpasa. Sabihin ko, okay, okay, promise ko, dalawang libo. Dagdagan pa natin, limang libo, kung ano-anong pinagsasabi. Pero, alam mo, kahit sinasabi nila, nambobola yung mga politiko, eh dapat naman, at least mga lahati naman sa totoo. <laughs> Totoo po yun. Wala, natatawa si Atty. Kehano kasi mayor din yan, eh, politiko din yan eh. eh hindi naman pwedeng uh, 100% uh, pang, uh, Ako na, na... Pang, uh, pang pangako na hina, laging napapako. Yes, so I'm looking for a way. Baka naman maipon natin. Meron ba tayong malilikom sa DOH, sa DepEd, sa DSWD? Hindi ba pwede ikumpuni yan? Kasi meron rin naman disability services sa DOH natin. Di ba alam naman natin yun? DSWD, sinabi na nga ni Attorney Trish na talaga naman may pera dyan sa DSWD. Hindi nga lang sapat. 
Tapos, andyan din sa DepEd, hindi ko alam, simut-simutin natin yung mga special learning, although, ang laki na ng pinutul doon. Sa totoo lang, marami ng bawas dyan. Kaya, na-reinsert siya sa budget. Naghahanap lang ako kung saan sana makakuha ng uh, iba't ibang budget. Madam na, Senator. Naghahanap talaga ako. At, Madam uh, Senator. <laughs> ang, um, ang seniors noon kasi, sila rin nag-solusyon eh, ng sarili nila doon sa Centen Centenarians Act para makapagbigay sa 80 years old, 90 years old. Ang solusyon nila ay paghati na lang yung Centenarians. So, tinanggap ko yon kasi magandang solusyon yon Ngayon, naghahanap na rin ako ng uh, pera para makatulong ng... Uh, ng, uh, ng totoo na hindi naman masyado nakakabigat na sigurado ka sa umpisa pa lang hihindian na ng economic team. Madam Senator, please. Oh yes, Here. Ms. Matan. Yes po. Hello po ulit, Madam Chair. I guess kung meron po tayong, baka po pwedeng ipasok sa General Appropriations Act po sana ito. For example, sa DEP, precisely, sa DEP Ed po ma'am. Precisely yung GAA. Pigampiga na eh. Tinanggal na rin po doon yung sa... Ang dami nang tinanggal eh. Apo, Kaya tinanggal din po yung sa amin. Uh, mahirap na pilitin natin na isaksak na naman yung 17 billion ba na total ng 2,000? Yeah. Siguro, Madam Chair, example lang po ako for DepEd. Aside from the infrastructure po or the other learning materials to make it accessible, baka po pwedeng doon yung for children with disabilities po natin. Nandun siya. Nandun siya sa DepEd. Na-reinsert nga, pero bahagi lamang ng Kongreso. Natanggal na yun eh. Apo. And for example, person with disabilities... Sagad na sagad na yun eh. <laughs> Actually, kulang siya eh. Mm -hmm. Dahil nga sa kwan. Pero tignan natin. Opo. Uh, for example po sa DOH naman po, uh, baka doon din naman po yung ibang mga uh, kukuha din po tayo ng uh, big or big small amount. May ganun po ba? Big small. <laughs> Parang ganun din po for the GAA din po, madam. And for example sa... Um, sa Dole, parang ganun din po. Since uh, may mga employees Dole, tayong may disability. Ang Dole, walang budget para sa PWD. Ang Dole, uh, sila lang implementor ng 1%. At saka may priority sa grant, sa tupad, sa cash for work, may priority. Tapos they're compelled to hire them. Yun nga lang, uh, wala naman silang hiwalay na budget para lamang sa PWD. That's the problem eh. Sino pa bang meron pera dyan? O, oh, DBM kayo, expert dyan. Department of Transportation din po, ma'am, for commuters with disabilities, for example. May budget ba doon? Parang wala. Wala naman silang requirement doon na maglagay ng assistive devices or uh, other... Uh... Pero may isa po akong um, kaming naisip, Madam Chair, with regard to... Um, pan, um, Possible po yung na-mention nga po ng lahat na through Persons with Disabilities Affairs Office po, baka po pwede yung accessibility or ibang mga budget po, pumasok po siya through DILG po uh, na magkaroon, parang part of the seal of good housekeeping po, baka possible po. Ang problema, isa ako sa nag, uh, nag uh, hain nung uh, Mandanas sa uh, case at uh, gobernador ako kasama ni Governor Mandanas nung panahon na yon ang nangyari, sa dami ng deduction ng DBM at ng DOF, lumiit pa ang pondo ng local government. Yan ang problema. Yung ira na inaasahan namin lalaki ng uh, maging NTA, lumiit pa yung NTA. Ang gulang nga eh. Hindi ko nga maintindihan paano nangyari yun. Pero... Iiyak din ang LGU. Ang Pangasinan, 50 million, 500, magkano yung nabawasan? Ang laki-laki ng nabawas sa Pangasinan. Ang laki ng, uh, ng bawas. Ha? Malaki talaga yung bawas kasi lahat tayo, tinamaan yan eh. Opo. Yun nga eh, yung inaasahan na lalaki, lumit lalo, tapos binagsakan pa ng sangkatutak na plans and programs and projects pinas on sa LGU, pero wala namang budget. Lumit pa nga yun dati. Kaya nga, yun ang problema natin. Eh. Kung paano tayo mag-iisip dito. I think there is no one in this room or probably elsewhere who objects to the intent of helping our PWD. Lahat tayo sang ayon dyan, 
for me, it's uh, overdue. Uh, talaga naman overtime na to kung bakit hindi pa nagagawa to. Eh, nagsabi na tayo ng magnakata, wala naman nangyari. Nagsabi na tayo ng 1%, eh, wala pa rin nangyari. Ibig sabihin, uh, lahat tayo sang ayon dito. Kaya lang, kung pwede lang, pag-isipan natin, Saan tayo kukuha ng pera? Saan tayo uh, maghahanap ng solusyon? Madam Chair. Yes, yes po. Um, meron lang aming mga kukapan ng mga pinaw. And ama kung inamin mo, marami na kumaka. Pero walang mga pinaw. Kaya hindi ko mga inan ang mga kapatumunan. Why not? Kung um, inan yun, halimbawa, mga akitimini. Kung walang akitimini, lang yan lang inan yun. Yun. Maliliom na ang mga pera. Halimbawa, a one person, ang gobyerno na maliliom na mag-implement na one person ng employment na ma-person with disability. Na hanggang ngayon, meron pa rin mga LGO na walang person with disability na na-employ. Kahit na yung mga pinaw. Yung ibang pinaw, hindi naman person with disability na. Kahit yun, nagtitiin yung end of the law. Nang nangay na o pinina, paano ito person with disability? Pero nilangyan na hindi person with disability. Paano yung 10.2 points noon? Paano yung 1 person implementation of the law? Lahat ng baka, ano yung nakikita natin? Yan, yan, yan na mga penalty. Pinano, marami tayong maniliom na mga... Tama. Ano yan? Ang problema, yung sa penalties, paparusaan mo, pero wala ka naman makukuha ng pera. Yun ang problema. So, ako, sangayon ako sa'yo, ang nakakahiya pa, ang um, lumalabag sa mga batas tungkol sa PWD, gobyerno mismo. Mga public buildings, national agencies, hindi lang LGU. Marami talagang in violation. Pero, palibasa wala namang parusa, walang pakialam lahat. Sige-sige lang sila. Okay, Miss Sanchez, please. Yes, Madam Gana Chair. Gana pa ko ng pera? Wala pa kayong idea? <laughs> yeah, ano na lang namin, Madam Chair, we just like to put it on the record na we are not against the social pension. However, we would like to manifest na, please, parang awa nyo na po, hindi po kaya ng LGUs yan. Although, yeah, ako na, na ako yes na, po. Na, inunahan na kita. Mm -hmm. Na-mention na po yung mahiwagang Section 17, pero we must understand yung mahiwagang Section 17 po encompasses all the sectors so, so, ang ano, Sorry, versus, the Section 17 encompasses all the sectors. No, it doesn't. It only mentions explicitly seniors and people. Mer meron pa pong marginalized, ano, marginalized sectors. Yeah. So, that's only just two of the de different sectors po. And then yung 17 billion na po na pinag-uusapan natin, halos ano na po yan, 1% ng budget ng buong, ng la that's one. Uh, that's around 1.5% of the NTA of all LGUs. So, medyo hindi po kaya ng LGUs. Yes po. Bibigay sa LGU ako. Madam Chair, in, inuunahan ko na lang rin po with the economic team. Because you sa EO138 po na despite the decision of the President, to defer the implementation of EO138 na pinag-uusapan pa rin po natin ang devol devolution transition plans. Madam Chair? Yes, thank you po. I think no, instead of uh, tayo po ay maging reactive, I think we should be proactive. I think the best way to 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 solve this is to reconvene this group and find ways. I think that's the important. We find ways how to get the money. Kasi kung sasabihin natin na we don't have this, we don't have that, then it won't be happening po. So I think meron pong paraan kung magtutulungan po yung ating DBM, the NCDA, other offices here, and yung syempre yung office nyo po and other organizations po. And we could submit again another um, paper po to you to, to better explain po kung saan tayo pwedeng kumuha ng pera. Thank you po. Yes, uh, I, um, I have in half an hour uh, session starting. No? So I'm just um, trying to put on the table the fact that we're all in full support of finally actualizing uh, the help and assistance necessary for the PWDs. Pero alam naman natin ang realidad na laging kulang ang pera. Uh, yung senior citizens, nauna na, pero alam naman nila 
ng uh, ng mas ng taintib yung problema ang dinadanas no sa pag-release ng pera talagang malaking problema yan. so pinangungunahan na natin maghanap na tayo no it's a real problem so ah 3:30 na pala yung session so okay then anyway so tuloy-tuloy lang isa yung problema ng pera uh, the other issues um also have to do with the setup ano the administrative structure kasi ang nangyari yung senior citizens may sariling konseho uh, yung ibang bills dito ang sinasabi that uh, we should also have a PWD council and um, we have found with the senior citizens that the council has run into so many problems you haven't even got employees so that at oh, the end yeah, but uh, very few. And uh, they're unable to implement so many of the senior citizen programs and projects. So, gusto ba natin mapunta rin doon? Yan ang tanong. Or do we remain under the the umbrella of the DSWD like you do now? All of you are under DSWD. Kailangan bang ganon? Kasi yung, uh, yung hirap at yung tagal, yung sobrang delay na dinana sa senior citizens, ayaw na natin maulit yon Baka naman mali ang admin structure na ganon. Huwag nang hiwalayin. Andyan na lang sa DSWD, maglagay na lang ng dedicated section. Tapos, hindi pa magulo. Pati sa budgeting, ayan, sumasang-ayon kagad yung NEDA at yung economic. Kasi alam ko, uh, may effort tayo sa gobyerno ngayon na mag-right sizing. Tapos magdadagdag na naman tayo ng iba pang ahensya. Yun ang kinagagalit ng economic managers. Eh, nagbabawas na nga, eh, magdadagdag na naman parang ang gulo natin. So, uh, yun. That's another thing to think of. Anybody uh, wanted to butt in? Yes, Ms. Corpus. Tabla awad ka, Senator Iti. Naimbag nga malim. Regarding sa budget, we are well aware that any support fund distributed individually to indigent PWDs will not be enough and will greatly deplete funds. Our proposal and recommendation is in this principle. If you give man a fish, you feed him for a day. If you teach a man to fish, you feed him for a lifetime. Persons with disability are needing work. We are needing livelihood programs. And kung ilagay doon ang maliit na budget and it will get profit, doon po manggagaling yung ikakadagdag sa fund. Kung anong meron galing sa IRA o kaya galing sa iba't ibang ahensya ng gobyerno. However, Madam Senator, sana po ay magkaroon ng isang ahensya ng gobyerno para sa persons with disability. And I would like to say this thing kung pwede po. We hear everyone say inclusion, no one left behind. There is much room for improvements. There are exciting reasons for optimism. We will not let go of the opportunity to liberate the sector from its historical second or third class citizenship status among the human species. Beyond representation, opo, sana po ay, we feel persons with disability, with all the, the batas, we feel we are excluded. No inclusive database, no comprehensive programs and services, and no national commission of persons with disability. Sana po ay magkaroon po ng ahensya ng gobyerno para maisa, ma-channel lang po ito. Like in the beginning, when there was Presidential Decree 1509, the National Commission, at naging National Council po. Sana maibalik po sa Office of the President. Ah, okay. Uh, how much budget are you receiving now, NCDA? Um, Discreet to the agency. Below 50. Below 50 million, Your Honor. Sorry? Below 50 million. For so much? B below 50 Zero? million. Be uh, <laughs> I don't know, Latian, below 50. <laughs> roughly 36 million, 36 Your M? Honor. Yes, roughly. Okay. They're getting 36 M. Um, right. Um, Yes, you were going to say something. Uh, yes, Your Honor. Um, If I may suggest an idea as a source of funds. Six million is very, very far away from the 17 estimated, to, uh, estimated in this bill. 
Yes. Um, if I may suggest an idea regarding one so one possible source of fund. So we have the syntax law and a portion of that goes to the sustainable development goals. Now, I remember attending a, a, here, uh, a meeting with NEDA a few weeks back regarding the idea of how the percentage allotted for sustainable development goals from the syntax law will be divided among the different sectors needing it. So we're not saying that the persons with disabilities sector will get the entirety of it, but we can perhaps get something from it because promoting the rights of persons with disabilities is in line with the SDGs. Uh, is that actually enforced, the SDG uh, portion? Parang wala akong nakikita ng ganun. Um, Napag-usapan pero wala nang yan. Yes, Senator. Uh, it's in the law, but uh, hindi pa po siya... We, we, the NEDA is in... Uh, is in discussion with DBN how we can get the ma money for the uh, SDGs under the syntax law. It's in the law, but uh, there's no money yet in uh, I, I never saw anything move, uh, Yes, Senator. In um, that direction. Yes, Senator. Just just a uh, just a recommendation on the uh, on who will uh, implement the NEDA strongly supports the uh, the suggestion that the DSWD should be the one um, who's leading the uh, distribution of the the support. Um, Alamas, Asek Dumlao is uh, smiling at me uh, because we know that the SWS already had that uh, capacity to implement a uh, such program and it will minimize the administrative cost po in implementing the program because on top of the 17 billion that we are talking about, hindi pa kasama din yung uh, mga administrative costs in implementing the program. And yes, then there are quite a few legislators actually who want to reverse what occurred with the Senior Citizens Council mm -hmm. uh, with all due respect because of the delays and the problems that uh, were incurred, ayaw na nila gumawa ng mini DSWD sa bawat marginalized sector. Parang magkakaroon ka ng mini DSWD for seniors, mini DSWD for PWD, for solo parents, for uh, each and every group. Parang nakakahilo na. So, yun yung uh, sentimiento na napakaraming uh, mambabatas. Apo. And then, um, for a change, hindi namin uh, katunggali ang need dyan. Mm -mm. And Senator, on the on the budget, um, remember during the social pension at the onset po ng implementation social pension, we did a progressive realization um, by, by age yung ginawa. For first year, hindi naman siya binigay kaagad ng up to 65 years old and up. So, inuna yung uh, pinaka-oldest. So, um, just a uh, suggestion for this kung hindi po Ako, talaga... hanggang ngayon napakalaki pa ng utang. Oo nga po. Samantalang sa kabila noon, nagpasa na naman kami ng additional, additional 500 yes, to make a total of 1,000. Hindi pa nabubuo yung 500. Oo nga po, Senator. So so for for us to be able dal wala nga pong pera no. Um we would like to suggest a progressive realization type of implementation as well. Perhaps baka for instance for the first one to two years, we cover muna yung mga severe, yung mga may severe functional uh, disabilities and then move to towards uh, moderate and then move towards mild until we cover uh, everyone and also while uh, fixing the data database that we have. Yun po, uh, Senator. Madam Chair. Ako po si Sheila. Ayan po, I agree po with ma'am no, about the progressive realization. In fact, dun po sa uh, hinain namin na version yeah. po ng batas. Actually, yeah. na, nabanggit ko na yan na, uh -huh. na perhaps a three to five year program is uh, more realistic. Yes. We can't do it all at uh, once. Po. It's uh, too big a uh, bite to chew off straight okay. away. Ang amin pong uh, mauna sana uh, sa version po namin uh, Senator is would be children with disabilities. Para po. Yes, I uh, saw that in your okay. Position paper. You had the uh, children and then uh, recipients of four piece. Um, actually, po, yan. Meron na nga silang four piece. Uh, mm -hmm. Ah, you mean to say the children of the poor? These children, children, with the, are, children with disabilities, po, seven no, I, and below. Po. No, I understand that. Pero okay. yung four piece, alindon. Um, eh, may four piece na nga sila magdodoble pa. Ah, uh, base po sa study, yes po magdodoble po kasi base po sa study namin, hindi po talaga sapat yung nare-receive po. Uh, the, the disability support allowance po would be complementary to other social protection schemes received. Pero the argument po. can be made that they're already receiving something from the government. Bakit nagdodoble sila samantalang yung iba zero? Um, sapagkat po, yun nga po, yung gastos po nung families na with this... Kasi marami ring mahihirap na hindi nagko-qualify sa 4P. Halimbawa, walang anak na maliit. So, kahit 4P ka, mm -hmm. sana, 
eh talaga hindi ka magka-qualify, wala kang matatanggap. Eh maraming PWD na ganun. Yes po, totoo po yan. And actually po, even the non, non, uh, the persons with disabilities who are not identified as poor po, marami silang disability-related extra cost at even sila po ano, nalalaglag sa poverty because um, ano nga po, mas mataas yung gastusin nila compared sa mga households na walang disability. So we are pushing po that it would cut across uh, all persons with disabilities. Okay, po. I think um, this deserves further discussion uh, on a more technical medical uh, level. Yes, I don't po. think uh, we're qualified at this juncture. Siguro ang uh, mabuti dito, um, lahat tayo sang ayo na mabuti na magumpisa. Kahit kulang-kulang. Kahit stage 1 lang. O year 1 hanggang year 3 hanggang year 5. Katulad na nangyari sa senior citizen stipend. Ano, at least umpisa na muna natin. Kaya lang, um, kinakailangan siguro alamin natin mula sa doktor at sa iba pa kung saan tayo magmumula. Yung severe na binabanggit ni Director Igtiben at uh, yung children na nabanggit na rin. Uh, siguro, um, timbangin natin kung alin talaga ang pagsisimulan. Um, let me say that there's no right answer. Kahit uh, saan ka magpa-prioritize, may magagalit eh. Kasi talagang uh, kulang eh. Talagang kulang. Madam Chair. Yes, uh, Attorney may Piano, May I make please. a comment over the issue of data and database? I think uh, what you've mentioned is really very important. If DOH has a cert certain perspective, and you have DSWD and you have DILG and the local governments, I think there has to be an integration activity, a workshop of sorts, so that the data will be collected and will be reliable. Otherwise, I don't think uh, the funds will even be enough. And there's a possibility there is that there is double counting and double payments. Yes, that's right. We've had uh, so many problems with the senior citizens in that regard. And the ending is, ang ginagamit natin listahan, yung pinakamaliit, ano? yung pinakakulang. Uh, that's a really lousy compromise. So actually, we've been discussing with the DSWD, tapos na yung listahanan. Listahanan 3 is the last. And then the CMGP is now going to kick in on the local government and the ILG part. And uh, we probably have to align with the DOH and the PSA as well. Kasi iba-iba talaga yung kanilang lista. At uh, napakagulo talaga. So the database is the beginning and end of everything. Wala tayong uh, ma pagtuturingan pag wala listahan. Okay, somebody else wanted to have a word, Ms. Esguera. Well, I'm desperately looking for a brilliant uh, inspiration and ideas um, here. Correct me if I'm wrong. I think all government agencies have that 1% to alleviate poverty. So maybe we can slice from it. What do you well, mean? according to uh, some of my friends, like Benny Abante, the... the 1%? 1%? 1%? No. There is uh, that 1% budget no. to alleviate poverty. It's the first time I hear of it. I was the governor for a long time. Parang wala na. Ang sinasabi, yung sa dole, 1% ng empleyado sa bawat ahensya ng gobyerno ay kailangan manggaling sa hanay ng may kapansanan. Uh -huh. Ayun yung sinasabi ni Ms. Llanos na hindi naman nangyayari. So I was... Man, talaga hindi nangyayari. Pero 1% budget, Walang yeah. ganon. Kasi I was, bawal yun eh. Uh, I was, Labag yan uh, sa local government ko, di mo pwedeng pakialaman yung... I was misinformed. It came from actually Dr. Ofi Karage and then uh, she's the wife of uh, Jem Karage. Um, another solution could be uh, to categorize in three um, sections. First time That's, I hear of it, sorry. Yeah. You'll have to tell me more. 17 billion, siyempre malaki, no? So pag kinategorize natin na itong portion na to would um, benefit from the 2,000 pesos, no, pension, pwede siya doon. Pwede rin naman employment, kagaya na sinasabi kanina dito, no, na yung mga pwedeng magtrabaho, hindi na kailangan tumanggap ng ganong pension, bigyan na lang ng trabaho. Yung isa naman, one-time fund, uh, isang section naman ng PWD, one-time fund, pang negosyo niya kasi hindi naman siya papasok ng trabaho, hindi siya mag apply pero may pang negosyo siya sa kanyang li ano, maliit na, na community. Na hindi Ako yung pang negosyo niya, mas malaki sa dalawang libo yun. 
Ang sari-sari. Pero one time pong... Tapos sa halaga ba naman ng cost, sa cost of living at sa halaga ng pagkain ngayon, eh, saan ka aabot din dalawang libro? One time negosyo like pang sari-sari store o kaya magtitinda sa paleg. So it's a one time cost. So para, pag eh, nag-slice tayo ng budget na yun, hindi na ganun kalaking budget. Kasi yung isang portion, hindi pera ang bibigay natin trabaho. Parang yes, Miss Garcia. Yes, thank you very much. Yes, uh, but you're right. I mean, yung mga pwede naman magtrabaho, bakit bibigyan? Unahin muna, yung talagang totally and permanently unable to uh, earn an income. Dapat yung ganon. Madam Chair. Dapat sila unahin, no? So kasama dyan, yung sobrang tanda ng PWD, sobrang batang maliliit pa na mga paslit na hindi naman pwedeng kumita pa at mag magtrabaho. Yun ang uunahin. Yun nga ang rinerecommend natin. Na yung severe, total, uh, yung impairment uh, gets in the way of earning an income. Siguro yun ang phase one na talaga. No? Kasi incapable. Yung iba naman, hanapan nga natin uh, ways and means to capacitate them to earn a living. Alright? And uh, Ms. Garcia, please. Uh, Madam Chair, um, siguro po pwede din po natin, strategy po, pwede natin uh, i-visit yung mekanismo ng poor peace, how they, how they do it. Kasi di ba po, before po siya naging law, program lang po muna siya. And in terms of funding, I think there was a way na... Okay, ang problema nga natin, baliktad eh. Galing-galing nga natin, magpasa ng isang katutak na batas, lahat, walang pondo. Ayun nga po. Dapat balik na rin naman natin, hanapin muna natin ang pondo. pondo. Ayun po. Sana para na tayong uh, uh, ay Parang na-appreciate ko lang din personally yung support piece, how they did do it. Parang nag-ano uh, muna, program lang siya until na naging uh, na-establish yung law. So, yun po. Uh, paano yung mekanismo ng purpose, purpose na nakakuha po Then, sila ng fund for it? Uh, Nagla ng budget for pilot projects in uh, 2007 for a very small subsection mm -hmm. of uh, the qualified uh, group, di ba? Nagumpisa ng 2007 under Secretary Cabral. It was a very small subsection. And uh, after that, nagkaroon ng phase 2, tapos mm -hmm. lumaki ng phase 3. Di ba? Ganun na nangyari sa atin. So, Finally, naging batas under President Duterte. Pero mahabang uh, proseso yon from President Makapagal all the way to President Duterte. Pero nagumpisa sa budget. Kaya gusto ko, magumpisa tayo sa paghahanap ng budget. Yes, uh, Asik Dumlao, please. Thank you very much, Madam Tahimik ka. <laughs> I was just listening to the discussion, but I'd just like to manifest, Madam Chair, that yes, there's a need to do targeting. Uh, there's, uh, there should be a way to marry yung CBMS with the Philippine Registry for Persons with Disabilities so we could strengthen its use and ensure that local government units encode all the information that they have doon sa registry na ito. Kasi it's nakaset na, uh, Madam Chair, eh. it's just a matter of maximizing its use. Pangalawa, improve our monitoring. Kasi tama po, there are a lot of programs being implemented by various government agencies. But e there's nga walang penalty. But there is really a need to know and determine if our persons with disabilities, as identified in our targeting mechanism, are able to access all of these. And then from there, we could identify kung ano ba nga ang ipaprioritize natin of the persons with disabilities dun sa sinasabi nga ng, ng NEDA that there should be progressive realization. Yeah, the other thing is I'm wondering if we shouldn't first uh, put together, oh, I just did it for the heck of it, Lahat ng mga benepisyo, privilegio, exemption, discount, ipagkaisa natin. Mm -hmm. uh, kasi we're not even aware of them eh. Nalaman ko lang kasi kanina, kin kin uh, kinakalkal ko, ang dai dai eh. Pero walang ngipin. Unang-una, walang sanction. Ikalawa, wala naman nagmo-monitor. Walang nagmo-monitor and evaluate kung talagang na natutupad ba yan. And uh, siguro, for example, the corporations that are actively, the private corporations, dapat may incentive din yan eh. Kasi kung talagang kumukuha sila ng may kapansanan, dapat tulungan din sila, even in the assistive devices man lang, di ba? Kasi gumagasto sila sa rampa, sa wheelchairs, sa iba't ibang bagay. So, 
it's incoherent. Ibig ko sabihin, ang gulo-gulo na, sabog-sabog na, kanya-kanyang pasa na lang ng batas, eh hindi na sila tumutugma sa isa't isa. In the meantime, yung intended beneficiaries, wala naman nararamdaman na tulong. So maybe that's the first thing we need to do, is try to put together all the existing um, laws and uh, see if there's a rational. And then, baka naman sa pag-aaral na yun, makahanap na rin tayo ng ng uh, pera. Kasi makita mo, may DOLE, may DOH, may DepEd, may DSWD, may kung ano-ano, may, uh, may DILG and local government. Everyone's putting a little bit in. Pero nobody can actually afford to carry the entire uh, um, burden. So I think uh, we need to put it all together. Ambag-ambag na lang to. Yeah, Madam uh, Chair. We, agree, we agree to that, Madam Chair. And if there's really a need to come up with another program for the persons with disabilities. I think there is. Uh, then, there's no doubt. It's just how to afford it. You know? We yeah. need to finance it, whether in phases or uh, with identified extremely uh, debilitated sectors. Yes, Madam Chair. And if we are to pattern it with the four Ps, with the Pantawid Pamilyang Pilipino Program, perhaps our international development partners can provide assistance because that's how we started. Sorry? international development partners oh nangutang yes well that's be because that's how we started so with uh, for sabi ng utang Pilipinas no that's how we started pero medyo maxed out na tayo di ba sa pangungutang ayaw na natin kasi we're very uh, uh conservative and uh yes um, madam chair maingat oh, at saka there are lessons to be learned din diyan kasi maraming nag-object sa pangungutang sa four piece mm -hmm. na hindi naman yan infrastructure di naman yan heavy equipment na magbabayad that's it's correct. not an investment as such. Of course, the argument can be made that it's an investment, investment in human, human capital, capital, but the reality is it's not going to pay you back very quickly in cash and kind. Yes, Madam Chair. That <clears> is why that's probably one of the things that we could consider. Uh, but then, of course, we would like to emphasize that while we are providing this assistance to our persons with disabilities, let us not forget yung pong um, pag-ensure ng full participation of persons with disabilities Ayun in na. all aspects of oh. social and economic life. Ensure their full participation in Tama. nation building. Well, that's right. And that's where the dole and the rest come yes, in because we really I mean. need to capacitate everyone. Kung pwede naman magtrabaho, mas may dignidad naman at may honor kapag nagtatrabaho, no? Madam Chair? Uh, who's that? Uh, ako po, uh, Miss Evangelista. Yes. Ma'am, baka pwede po makonsider natin yung E0417, yung Economic Independence for PWDs, where in 10% of... Uh, what year po? Uh, 2005 po, uh, under President Arroyo. Ano, yung 10% uh, procurement po ng mga government agencies uh, binibigay sa mga PWD cooperatives Baka po pwedeng i-expand po ito sa mga... PWD cooperative. Yes, cooperative po. For yung pong ano siya, yung mga... Kasi akong uh, experience na... Katulad po sa DepEd, uh, yung mga furniture, school furniture po, tsaka teacher's table, binibigay lang po ito sa mga PWD cooperative. Baka po pwedeng ipa-expand po ito sa DPOs, Disabled People's Organization, like uh, mga non-profit organization like Tahanang Walang Hagdanan. Hindi po kami maka-join sa ganun kasi po hindi po kami cooperative. But we have more than 200 uh, PWDs in Tahanang Walang Hagdanan. Yes, I was going to ask, what are the larger uh, PWD co-ops? Parang wala akong naririnig. Uh, na wala na po sila ngayon yung National Federation. Sabi niyo yung EO makes reference to a PWD Co-op? May malaki bang co-op na wala nga po, handa eh. makipag-bidding sa government? Wala po. Ang ano nangyay... Yes, wala po. Ang nangyayari po, nakikipag-JB sila sa mas malalaki na company. Kumbaga, naka-front lang po sila. Parang ganun ang nangyayari. Pero may higpit naman po. Parang hindi yun tama yun? Opo. Very gratuitous naman and yeah, uh, tokenism opo. naman yata ang mangyayari. Kaya nga po yun ang umaaray kami. Hindi po kami maka-join talaga kasi hindi po kami cooperative. Kaya nga ako nagtataka dito sa co-ops. Uh, kasi sa pakiwari ko, wala namang yes, qualified na magbid dyan. May yes. platinum ranking or whatever it is. Yes, yes, madam. Yeah, Thank but you. that's a good idea. I think uh, certain um, government contracts can well be made, maybe produced by our PWDs. Sige. Yes, uh, Asik, were you going to say something? 
Anybody going to add anything? Po, ah, Miss uh, Orsolino sa Dole kasi nabanggit nga yung trabaho. Ah, yes, ma'am, Madam Chair, magandang hapon po. I, I was just about to uh, add sana about the source of funds we've been talking about that. We have existing programs in Dole like the DILEAP, the Dole Integrated Livelihood and Emergency Employment Program of which Madam Chair has already mentioned. Pwede po natin i-maximize to. Uh, someone from there is mentioning na hindi sila co-op, but they can form an association of which they can avail of the day leap. We have the Kabuhayan, ma'am, Kabuhayan program, That's right. and we have the Tupad. So, pwede lang po mag-submit lang ng mga requirements, and then... PSW din, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Uh, DepEd, DOH. Yan lang po, so, ma'am. Hindi ko sinasabi na out na. Out na yung stipend, yung 2,000. Hindi ko sinasabi yun. Ang sinasabi ko lang, pansamantala, ang unang gawin natin, liko, ilikom muna lahat na nandyan. Kasi sabog-sabog sila, tapos hindi ninyo na-avail. I'm sure, hindi ninyo nababalitaan yung sinasabi nilang start-up na livelihood program ng Dole. Pero meron nun. Meron din yung DSWD. Lahat yan, may mga KKK, meron SEAP, may SLP. Ang dami-dami yan. Pero... Hindi ko pa nababalitaan ni Minsan na yung may kapansanan na grupo, eh nag-avail niyan. Kasi hindi nga sila informed. So perhaps what we should start with, if, you're, uh, if you will allow me, mag-TWG po tayo at uh, ipunin natin lahat ng existing. Tapos simulan na natin yung pinaka-extremely, severely incapacitated. At yun ang tulungan muna mag-phase one. In the meantime, yung mga iba, i-avail muna natin yung iba't ibang uh, kailangan. Ha? O, tama ba yun? Okay ba yun? Start muna tayo para makapagumpisa lang kasi nakakasama na ng loob itong diskusyon na ito eh. Nakakainis na. It's not bagay Madam, to us. Parating lang walang pera. Madam Senator. Wait ha. I have, to, uh, I have to go and take a picture. So, uh, I'll suspend and come back.
lockdown. So, um, if you will, uh, kung papayag po kayo, uh, marami tayong kailangan pag-usapan, pero sa kabila nito, siguro mas mainam uh, mag-TWG na po tayo. Total kompleto na naman tayong lahat dito. At uh, ang sipag-sipag ninyo magbigay ng uh, position paper. Sang katutak na yung position paper, marami tayong ideas. Pero ngayon, maliwanag yung problema natin na naghahanap tayo ng pera. Ayun. Pero, um, I think there have been good ideas already mooted. I'm certain that uh, more and uh, better solutions will come up in a TWG. So kung maaari, uh, yung iba't ibang grupo, lalong lalo na, yung DOL, eh, DSW, DDEP, ed, at sana isa sa ating uh, DBM uh, makalahok doon sa TWG para unang-una pag-isipan natin, lalo na sa DOH, manamagam tayo sa DOH, meron bang kinatawan dito ang DOH? Pati hindi ka pa nagtawag, dapat nagtawag. Ay, nagtawag. O sige, kumbidahin na lang natin yung DOH para... Uh, maintindihan natin na maigi ang ibig sabihin ng severely incapacitated kasi marami tayong sinasabing severe pero kanya-kanya ang definition huwag tayo ma ma maubos sa definition at uh, siguro yun ang kinakailangan phase 1 no i phase 1 muna natin yung severe at yung talagang uh, uh, walang uh, ka kakayahan katulad ng uh, pinaka bedridden na matatanda at saka yung mga batang paslit ano so stay yun muna ikalawa dun naman sa may kakayahan kahit konte kahit uh, kulang eh sabihin na nga natin na kung may kakayahan eh bigyan ng pagkakataon so i think we need to go through all the departments all the laws and finally come out with a list of things that uh, we can actually provide them in many cases with very little or no extra allocations at all. May ganun eh, kasi nandyan na rin siya sa batas eh. Sabi nga ni Ms. Orsolino, sa kanila meron naman silang binibigay. Kaya ASEC Dumlao, alam ko na meron naman tayong binibigay sa DSWD. Sa DOH, talaga naman pinaprioritize ang may kapansanan. So, uh, let's put them all in a menu so that we can provide these services and these goods in many cases and even loans and even grants and employment uh, in one list that we can at least offer something to our PWDs. Hindi naman talagang zero. At uh, kahit magumpisa tayo sana doon sa severely, sabihin na natin ano kaya number noon para hindi naman tayo mapako doon sa 17 billion na nakakahimatay. Um, Ma, may I say something? Yes po, Attorney Ma Keanu. At this point in time, we are so impressed because you are now the focal person of the... <laughs> This sector, I and I think I don't think I'm the focal person, and it is appearing stuck with trying to find the money. So my I, suggestion, I don't, I don't think you guys have heard that we're Ilocano, no? <laughs> ma'am, our it's suggestion, ma'am, favorite thing in the world. Huh? Ma'am, our suggestion, ma'am, is maybe at this point in time, if you can identify for us the convener's team or the. You know, team eh, team. I'm uh, thinking. I think Asik Dumlao, you have no choice. You have to join the TWG thing for the. The SWD sector, Ms. Orsolino, you have to come na nga and join us. Uh, I don't know who from NEDA or DBM could join us. Uh, DOH, we totally need them. Kalampagin mo na lang, bet. At saka yung dole, uh, yung, uh, and then representatives as they'd like. Ano ko, hiyang hiya na nga ako. Sa totoo lang, nagpapaumanin po ako. Kasi Martes to, hindi dapat nagkakaroon ng Commission on Appointments. Kaya lang sa dami ng uh, naalintalang appointee, eh, nagkaroon kami ng hearing. Eh, wala naman akong uh, kakayahan din na ipospone pa. Knowing na Miss Llanos came from Sambuanga, the rest came from Pangasinan. Eh, ayoko na magpospone. Kaya pasensya, putol-putol. Pero, ayan ang utos ng uh, panahon. So, let's just uh, try and do that. Uh, and then, I will volunteer you accordingly. Ayan naman. 
Kayo Madam. ng, uh, yes, uh, Sari ka, sa Salika, sa Namsi. When ma'am, agyaman kami, ma'am, okay. uh, aditoy ka kanya, mi, ta supporta, okay. supporta handa kami. And yeah. we also support you, ma'am. We have to find a way, eh, di ba? At uh, di naman pwedeng zero lagi. Uh, nakakahiya na to. <laughs> so, yun. Uh, let's do that. Uh, Beth, you'll take care of the TWG. So, two things, ano? Uh, alamin natin kung sino talaga yung mga pinaka-severe. Tapos, sa uh, Yung phase one, ideally with a view towards a three-year, five-year program, sabay dasal. Tapos, <laughs> ikalawa, yung menu. Yung menu natin ng mga existing goods and services already provided by the various departments, including, like in the case of Pangasinan, including yung mga LGU nang nagsusumikap talaga na sagutin ang pangangailangan ng may kapansanan. Okay, so uh, any other uh, any other ideas? Uh, Miss Evangelista, sama naman kayo kasi may experience na kayo sa tahanan walang hagdanan. Ayun, sama na rin sila. Tapos yung, yung mga matsatsaga, eh, ah, yung mga NGOs eh, yung mga NGOs kasi sanay kayo na walang allocation, nabubuhay pa rin. <laughs> <laughs> Kaya kayo dapat ang nangunguna sa mga diskusyon katulad nito. Okay. Sige. All right. So uh, let's do that. Uh, let's do our very best na uh, wag naman mabigo itong intention natin makatulong sa may kapansanan. At uh, sigurado naman ako natutulungan naman tayo. Si, sa DBM, Attorney Bara, and if you could uh, also provide us, kasi mas memorize ninyo yung mga sekreto ng GAA. Baka naman may mga nakatago dyan. Oh, she's right. Yeah, uh, Miss Julius Guerra, um, I'm corrected. Yes, there's an EO417. Pero kaninong EO to? Ay kay Mar uh, Arroyo. Uh, pero wala na siya. Pinapaaral ko po kung Parang sa hindi na, is it still in force and effect? Iba na yung executive eh. That's the problem. Ganun ba yun? Naglalaps ba ang EO pagkatapos ng admin? Pero wala na akong narinig na ganyan kailanman. Sa totoo lang. Anyway. Uh, anyway, but uh, you're right to cite this. Uh, I'm sorry, I was ignorant about it. Because I uh, never experienced such a 1%. But um, yes, it's in existence. Therefore, there's a precedent. We should use it uh, as a result. May 1% pala rito. Okay. <laughs> Alam mo, that's the traditional uh, bawas. Pero kung bibilangin mo, lahat ng bawas, PCSO, uh, PAGCOR, travel tax, airport tax, mga 238% na yung bawas. Kaya parang uh, well, last resort. But uh, I think it's very difficult. But yeah, we can, we can think of everything. Um, pero ala chamba kasi yun eh. Ayoko nang ganun eh. Pero yeah, sure. Um, let's put it in there. But perhaps DBM, if you could help us uh, look for... Um, monies in the different uh, departments that uh, somehow refer to our PWDs and assisting them in some way. Ms. Mata, please. Yes, I, as I mentioned a while ago, Madam Chair, about... Ito volunteer ang NAPSI. Maliit na nga yung budget ninyo. Hindi po, ma'am. So, ito po yung, ma'am, na-mention ko kanina yung 1%. Kasi okay. meron po nung 2013... Either Article 31 or 33 uh, for the one percent budget for persons with disabilities and senior citizens. So, yung isang paragraph po dun about accessibility, and the second is the uh, creation of program services for persons with disabilities and senior citizens. But after 2013, po, after 2011, hindi ko lang po, po hindi na po siya na mention na tanggal na po. Kasi we, we assure yeah, na. That's continue. why I was saying this is an old EO, eh. Baka in this no separate the months. Po, separate po yung CEO 417, ah, ma'am, yes. That's more of 10% of the procurement po um, for persons with disabilities naman po. And other regions are using that po for the hospitals. Uh, one example po is Region 2 uh, for the hospital uh, linens, bed linens po ng Region 2. I forgot if it's Isabella, ma'am, or uh, basta nasa Region 2, ma'am, or sa part ng Cagayan Valley po. So, uh, kasi isang council member po namin from Region 2, Ms. Uh, CM Amid Desenes po, ay isa po napapractice po nilang EO417 po. 
Thank you. Okay. Yes, uh, so, tatlo yung homework natin. Nakalimutan ko yung ikatlo. Unang-una, maghanap tayo ng uh, estimate dun sa mga severely incapacitated. Ikalawa, yung iba't ibang beneficyo na binibigay na sa kasalukuyan ng iba't ibang ahensya, including local governments, kasi maraming local government na talagang uh, uh, nagpupumiglas na tulungan ng ating mga mekapansanan. Ikatlo, huwag natin kakalimutan yung dapat Uh, patawa ng parusa kasi napaka bad example ng ating pamahalaan tayo mismo ang number one violator ng lahat ng sinasaad tungkol sa PWD yung mga public buildings na walang rampa, walang assistive devices, walang katulong-tulong sa ating mga PWD so siguro pag-aralan na rin natin ang parusa sanctions and penalties for violators no? Kasi uh, alam natin na napakaraming violation. Ano, pwede rin sa dole? Mag yung mga hindi nagwa 1% uh, labor. Yes, ma'am. Uh, siguro we will ask the Bureau of Working Conditions for the inspection. Oh, kung diba? merong data Dapat tungkol dito. Dapat random check nila yes, mga visitation. Yes, At yun nga ang sinasabi ni Asik Numlaw kanina. Wala naman MND, no monitoring, no evaluation. Andyan yung batas, uh, more honored in the breach. So we can't allow that. So I guess that's the third piece of homework. Uh, let's try to have the TWG as soon as possible. We don't have very many session days left um, in this uh, session. Pero tuloy-tuloy natin, pursigihin natin to. Um, parati kung um, sinasabi ito yung umiikot at uh, may senior citizens tayo, may, so, may solo parents. Bakit wala pa rin PWD? Hindi ba dapat na una yun? Ano ba yun? So, lagi tayo nagpapaumanhin, lagi tayo nagsosorry, pero hindi sapat yun. Kailangan tulungan na. Okay, Attorney Ramos, please. Ah, uh, yes. Um, thank you, Madam Chair. Regarding the penalties you mentioned po, parang perhaps one suggestion would be to amend BP-344 in terms of penalties because under BP-344, the penalty is only two to 5,000 if you don't comply. So for a lot of um, building administrators or owners, uh -huh. I would rather pay 5,000 than uh -huh. comply. So I think that's one area po that we can... Ano, tama, uh, tama. Minuscule na siya. Kasi batas pang bansa pa lang yan. Eh. Panahon pa ng ama ko, eh, talagang hindi na, <laughs> hindi na sapat yung mga pinapataw na parusa, pinagtatawanan pa. So, yes, that's correct. That's a very good suggestion. Yes, Madam Mr. President. Uh, uh, yes, Madam Chair. Just uh, regarding lang po ano, doon sa uh, papaano natin makuha yung data nung sa mga people with severe disabilities and so forth. Um, currently po, mayroong pinapilot na project uh, about disability and needs ass assessment system po ano, sa Batangas. At um, gusto po namin ding introduce yun sa inyo at sa mga kasama natin baka makatulong po kung paano mas magiging streamline po yung pagkuha kung sino ba talaga yung mga ngailangan at sino po yung may mga support pang needed po na ma-align dun sa mga programs okay. and services na meron yes, tayo Yes, share that with us if you have access Thank yeah. you Yes, Ms. Corpus, please Apa, One of the severe kapag ka isang araw hindi makainom ng gamot ang epileptic po ay, oh, ay namimilipit po sila So, pinaparating po ng, ng group po po ang kailangan na, na isa sila sa mauna. And secondly po, uh, Madam... Uh, Nama, Mr. that's Mr. fair. Oh, I po. think that's entirely justified, yes. Yes. Na sana po ay uh, ma-represent po ng mga persons with disability in the legislation. Kasi po, meron po kami slogan, nothing about us without us. So, sana po ay iparating ko ang ating... Uh, 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 yeah, napakarami pong solo parent at, at nauna pa sila, sabi niyo po, dahil nga po ay walang representation po at wala pang ahensya ng gobyerno po ang persons with disability. Wala rin ahensya ang solo parent. Uh, pero oh, nauna sila kasi nga meron po silang mga kaparaanan na representation. Yun po yun. Yes, uh, thank you very much. Anyone want to add anything to the session? Yes, very quickly. I would like to uh, manifest our intention to help the homework that we need to do, ma'am. looking for the innovation of the pavilion. So, mga personal with disability affairs officers, mga LEU, meron na kami na yung 998, na dapat na 1,700 kami, pero 998 pa lang, pero ang fancy na kalangan na na 500 pa lang. Hahanap kami ng pangaan at meron naman kami dito 
Thank you very much. Malaking tulong yan. Okay, so um, I really have to wind this down. Um, Attorney Ramos. Uh, yes, I, on behalf of the National Council on Disability Affairs, as the agency for uh, persons with disability, we would like to manifest our intention to help with the TWG. Actually, Madam Chair, with regard to the laws, in our website, all the applicable laws are already there, but you, you can help consolidate and like summarize Pero like, what the sila. highlights. Yes. Sila. Ay, ay, nakalista. It's a laundry list. It's not yes. uh, very helpful. <laughs> WD mm -hmm. with a non legal background, Baba Sainkin, Walako ma intindian. Yes, but so we Kasi are willing to help out. Contra rin yung isa sa isa eh. Hindi naman sila na magkakapareho. I, mm -hmm. I, I tabulate natin ang yes. madaling intindihin. At, uh, at uh, yung uh, uh, hindi magulo yung uh, pag access Kasi yes. meron DSWD livelihood, meron din sa dole, iba iba yung requirements. Mahihilo ka talaga eh. Yes, uh, last, Ms. Corpus, please. Uh, nalimutan ko po. Yung Republic Act 9442, Madam, na napakaraming nabubuli at na nalalait na kahit sa social media, kahit sa mga artista or sa iba't ibang mga uh, TikTok, ganun. Sana po, kasi maraming pera po doon, 50,000 po at 100,000 po ang punishment doon, or penalty. So sana po ay mapaigting po ito, ma'am, at sana po ay merong paraan na on, anong ahensya ba ng gobyerno po? Opo, sa Republic Act 9442 po, verification po. Napakarami po, bawat araw po. So kapag ka maipatupad po yun, at kanino po, anong ahensya ng gobyerno po? DOJ or uh, wala po I'm eh. I'm not sure if it's DICT, DOST, well, DOJ. Pero um, sa ibang committee na yon ire-refer natin sa ibang committee kasi hindi yan na uh, paksa na sakop ko eh. Hindi po, yung pong penalty po. Sa iba. Yung pong penalty po, penalty malaki po doon. Penalty sa kanila. Pero pen penalty sa cyberbullying yon mm -hmm. Ibang batas kasi yun eh. Hindi na, hindi na sumasa ilalim sa akin. Ah, okay po. Pero we'll refer it to them because I believe that that's a very serious consideration. Mm -mm. Yes, last na last, kayo talaga. Oh, tara na. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, last po. Absent na ako sa session. <laughs> Opo, the mapping, siguro yung aside from the laws po na itatabulate, siguro yung mapping of all the programs and services from the national down to the local Opo, level. Na yun, and na saan po makikita yung entry point po ng mga persons with disabilities at different stages or levels po? Oo, dapat gawin ninyo yun. Kasi nakakalito talaga eh. Kung ililista lang ninyo yung uh, mga batas, maski ako hindi ko naintindihan eh. Kasi iba-iba yung requirement ng bawat department, iba-iba yung kinakailangan. Iba-iba yung definition kung ano yung PWD. Hindi nga magkasundo eh. Uh, yes, Madam Chair, we're, com uh, we're committing to help do that po. Now na. Yes po. Okay. <laughs> thank you. Thank you very much to everyone. Um, uh, uh, I'm sorry I've been uh, in such a mad rush and this has been a little bit of a crazy uh, committee hearing. Um, that being said, mabuti na kesa sa wala kasi uh, talagang pinagpipilitan ko na matapos din ang diskusyon na ito kahit papano at uh, wag sana tayo mabigo kaya hanapan natin ang paraan at uh, ang huli na lang. I'm very happy to announce that I met a uh, real, a, a, a really extraordinary person, and that's the uh, first uh, blind person who passed the uh, Philippine bar. He comes from Baguio City. He's a young man called Attorney Mark Emokling. He's the very first one um, to finish the bar. No braille. Uh, no uh, special assistive devices. He just had a uh, small device and uh, did it or uh, audio via audio, which makes things even that much harder. So that's the good news for the day. Things are looking up and uh, I'm certain that more and more of our PWDs will prove us wrong that they are in fact uh, especially capacitated. Thank you very much. So sorry.